Good morning. Thank you for visiting my channel. And I wanted to go ahead and show you uh, what my first grader will be doing this week. Um, it's going to be from Tuesday, but I'll show you what they've done on Monday as well. Um, so basically, I am doing it a little differently, and I hope it helps. And I will try my best to put in the comments um, the curriculum, etc., that I've used. So for science, we're learning about habitats, and this is a book that they did yesterday. And this is from Teachers Pay Teacher. It was a freebie, and I will try to find the link, and I will post it. Um, so they've done that. We've read some books, and we've talked about it. And then today they will do this as well as on a big piece of paper we're gonna try to draw different habitats and ask them have them name it so my preschooler and my first grader are going to be doing this together then for geography this is a file folder game that my first grader really likes it's it's very easy to do, but <laughs> she really likes it. She has me timing it, and she tries to beat her time and how fast she can put the continents and the oceans in its place. And then they've also done that yesterday. So today they will um, print, uh, color the Australian flag. And then they're going to, this is a geography book around the world coloring book so they will color and we'll read about it we read this book yesterday good day Australia and then we're going to read this one today and this one tomorrow and then we'll review on Thursday this will be our read aloud um, that I will read to them this is for our book club and it's if it doesn't have picture my daughter really doesn't like to read it much, so I will probably read it to them. So it's the family under the bridge, and I can let you know how we like it. And this is something that she will read on her own. And she doesn't really like read a lot, so some of these books she will read on her own. We'll read it together. Um, she doesn't like me reading. She likes to read it. And then I ask questions as we go page by page to make sure she's understanding it. And then she has a whole bunch of books that she will read on her own time. And maybe I'll make a video for that too and show you what we're reading. Um, so we'll do that. Um, this is her grammar notebook. So I began with like, what is a sentence? She knows this already, but I wanted to make sure I, I wrote it as she told me. And then yesterday we played this game. It's roll a silly sentence. So these were, I was supposed to, I guess, make this into a, like a dice, but I didn't really want to spend the time on doing that. So I kind of just wrote numbers. So if they, you know, roll the dice and if it was a two, then it was, you know, they went into the two and she wrote these silly sentences. She had a crack out of it. <laughs> So that was that. Then we did this who, what, and she circled the who in blue and in red, what. And then today we'll go over noun. She kind of knows it because we've done it, but I didn't do it in a more of a the notebook format. So I'm reviewing it. So we'll do this and she will write down here and here what what is a person, so name and then places and then things. So we'll do that today. And then I have these where, this is for noun, verbs, and adjectives. So obviously we'll just do the noun this week and she'll put in what goes, which is a noun. The ones that are for verbs or adjectives, we'll keep aside and go over it when we. And then I want her to redefine what is a noun. I want her to write it down and then we'll sort it. What is a noun goes here and what is not a noun will go there. And then this is from a scholastic book that I just um, cut and pasted that she will do. So that's going to be our grammar notebook. 
uh, for math she'll move along with math QC so I took it out this is what she did yesterday she did it really quickly in like I don't know less than five minutes so today I'm doubling up and so I've dated it for her and then she will do those pages along with that we're going to read Life of Fred I'm hoping to get four chapters done this week and then this was a game that we played yesterday and I actually have a little video of it so I will try to add that or put it on Instagram she really liked it um, so we would you know roll a die she would select which number and we would play against each other who whoever has the highest number afterwards gets to win and then we kind of so she really liked it um, so that was a game and then we have the Sum Swamp game for addition and subtraction. We mostly do the addition, and um, it's a board game that she likes. And um, I will try to record it as she's playing it, so you guys can get a better idea of it if you haven't played this game. Those are that. For writing, she hates writing, so I'm going to move along again. And we're going to, we didn't finish the activity set one, so I'm going to have her try to finish the one. Um, it's kind of like our struggle. She doesn't like writing. And then she does also plays on this. It's from learning, learning resources, and she tries to, you know, um, this is where the answer would be, and this is where it would be, you know, like the numbers would come up. So let's say eleven one. So it starts. It's saying zero one. The answer would be one. So that's one. Now it's saying four is the answer. You have one. How many more do you need? So you put in three. So it's kind of like that. And she tries to play this, and I'm hoping this will increase her math facts. Um, for vocab, yesterday we did this these two pages from Sylvan first grade vocabulary spelling math puzzles book so she did this now it moves on to verbs action words so I'm going to wait on that and what I will do is whatever we're learning for habitats I want her I will try to make up some games which I haven't yet and if once I do I will either do another video or I will put it up on Instagram and um, um, or Facebook maybe I'll do both um, I know not everyone has Instagram so um, um, so I'll create a game or something for her to learn about the habitats um, and we'll do vocab on those and I will wait to get to the vocab section of the Sylvan book until we get to verbs so that way it's kind of like aligned together and pardon my messy table, it's my first grade, um, my youngest one that she loves to write on the table. It's like an everyday thing. <laughs> so uh, moving on to reading comprehension, uh, we will do this today. So it's she will read it and then she will answer the question. She, she'll do front and back. And then this she'll do Thursday. For spelling, I'm going to follow my smart, smarty pants, my little smarty pants, um, and I'm going to create it on her grammar book. I will have her, she likes to type. If she wants to type, I'll print it out. If I can get her to write, I'll have her write them, and she will write the words. She knows these. She's. Uh, we've done all of our reading level one before, so these are. She knows how to spell these. But I'm gonna just start it from the beginning again and just document everything so it's easier. And then what I'll do is I'll have her circle the nouns and go that way. So that way it's kind of like I like that idea. So we're gonna do that for all about spelling. There's like 26 words, so I'll divide that up. Um, this was kind of like an Australian. Um, uh, painting method I think it was Aboriginal style of painting which is dot painting um, they lost focus and they really wanted to kind of 
it's just paint but <laughs> it's I guess it requires a lot of patience so today I will do it with them we'll do a hand and we'll do it with a chalk on the construction paper to make it fun and then these are logic and we love this the critical thinking company um, and um, you just I think I showed it in my last week's video as well and you kind of just read it and you kind of answer it and it kind of makes you think outside of the box and look for answers so this is what we'll do we usually do it on the board so I don't really write on it um, but yeah so we'll do this this is called the mind benders deductive thinking skills and this one is called can you find me and maybe I'll try to do a mini video so you guys get an understanding of um, how it is because I know when you, you see someone using it is different from than just me telling you how it is and my first grader loves this boggle um, she loves to make up the words and um, she, she writes them down and then we see who can make up most words anything that has time Sorry about that, uh, my memory was full. Okay, so um, like I was saying, so the, we're going to play the boggle game, and I think I was uh, trying to explain that I will try to do mini videos and maybe add them in and um, or add us make a separate video because I know when kids are using it, it's different from them just them me telling you how they'll do it and how they'll play it, and you can see the excitement to see if it's something that they like because I know I like to read reviews before I buy things um, um, just because I don't want too much stuff in the house and then I don't want to spend money and then they don't use it so I like to read reviews and I love watching videos of kids um, playing with the t with you know anything the curriculum the learning toys or anything I like to look at the reviews and look at the kids playing with it so um, this will be it um, I'm sure I'm gonna add in stuff as we go along but so far that's been my plan and um, uh, anything additional I'll either add on make another video or I'll put it up on Facebook and Instagram and I think that's it um, thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a great week